let's find the value of this length x the first thing to observe is that this is not a right angle triangle we cannot think of pythagoras theorem or sokatoa which are usually used for a right angle triangle here we have two sides given but only one side is known in these two sides while the other side is unknown and we also have two angles and these two angles are known in this condition where you have two known angles one known side and one unknown then you should think of sine rule sine rule states that the sine of this considered angle divided by the side it's facing which is x is equal to the sine of the other angle divided by this side it is facing which is root 3 divided by 3 we have applied the sine rule next this we multiply this and we're going to have root 3 divided by 3 times sine 30 degrees this we multiply this by cross multiplication and we're going to have x times sine 45 next we are looking for x then we're going to have the square root of 3 divide by 3 times sine 30 degrees here we are going to be left with only x sine 45 we come down to divide next we're going to simplify this and here we're going to have that root 3 divide by 3 times sine 30 is 1 over 2 divide by sine 45 is root 2 over 2 when you rationalize 1 over the square root of 2 you are going to get the square root of 2 divided by 2 for sine 45 next we are going to have root 3 divided by 3 times 2 is 6 divide root 2 divided by 2 here we are going to have root 3 divided by 6 times 2 divided by the square root of 2 2 here is 1 and 2 here is 3 here we now have the square root of 3 divided by 3 root 2 next we are going to have the square root of 3 divided by 3 root 2 we are going to rationalize to have 3 root 2 divided by 3 root 2 this will give us 3 multiplied by the square root of 3 times 2 is 6 divided by 3 times 3 is 9 and root 2 times root 2 is 2 3 here is 1 and 3 here is 3 here we are going to have root 6 divided by 3 times 2 is 6 you see we have simplified all this to become the square root of 6 divided by 6 I'm going to input this answer which we obtain by simplifying this and I will have that x is the square root of 6 divided by 6 and this becomes our answer in meters it is important to know when to apply Pythagoras theorem or Sokatoa or 
the sine rule or the cosine rule because this is an important skill when solving problems in trigonometry.